Okay, so of course you've been in my seminars or you've seen my DVDs. I don't smile a lot. The reality is, is I'm a happy person. I joke around a lot. I make fun of people because it makes me laugh. I make fun of myself because it makes me laugh. But I don't smile. Part of that is I'm intense. I'm focused. I literally wake up every day, 100 miles an hour, 4 o'clock in the morning, without an alarm. I'm running 100 miles an hour. I literally go virtually every night late. I read incessantly. If you tell me you want to compete with me in a game of kick the can, I'm going to kick your butt, or at least I'm going to try. I'm intense. I don't run restaurants anymore day to day, but I can tell you this, the days I do run restaurants, I smile, I screw around, I use humor, I have fun. But here is one thing I see, and I see managers, and we use it as a training tool, I see a lot of managers that will talk to their staff, and they'll walk up to the young girl, and they'll say, you're not smiling, and guess what, she's not anymore. You can't force someone to smile. You have to put them in the mode to want to smile. You have to put them in the position of wanting to have fun. You can't walk up to a young man and say, if you don't smile, you're going to be fired. Guess what? He's never going to smile. You're never going to get him back in the game. To me, humor is a great opportunity for a restaurant manager to impart smiles. Also music. I see this a lot. I see you can't have music in the kitchen. So the manager runs back there and turns off the music. Why? Well, why are you turning off the music? Well, because there's no reason for them to have fun here. <laughs> You're right. There is no reason for them to have fun here. Now, I do understand that if you can hear the music in the dining room, that could be a problem. I also understand that if they have the little earbuds in and they can't hear the call back to the kitchen, that could be a problem. But I don't understand why they can't have music that's not bothering anybody else. That will help their attitude. Back in the day, we used to have this thing called whistle while you work. I know it's kind of corny, but if you let them listen to their music, they're, in essence, whistling why they work. I've spent my life in restaurants. Trust me, I do an Axl Rose imitation with a mop bucket that you just have to see. I love it. And what it does is it helps the employees understand. I'm just a big kid. I'm just one of them. I enjoy Axl Rose. I do a Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. You may not know who they are. But they're an 80s, 90s rap, R&B kind of collection of music. I do a Marky Mark and the fun Funky Bunch. It's to die for. I do an Eminem imitation. I think I'm all over it. <laughs> Lose yourself, I'm all over it. I can do Usher. I can do country. I can do rap, rock, pop. You, Britney Spears. <laughs> but that's what it's going to take. You're going to have to align with the people who are working with your customers. I try to stay away from opera. I don't have a whole lot of employees that like opera. But on occasion, if I have to, I suppose a little Swan Lake or something, I can come up with it. But you got to get your people in a position where they want to smile, and the best way to do it is align with what they like. Even if you don't like it, tough it out. Fake it. They'll appreciate it. Also, chances are pretty good. In time, you'll like it.